Hi, it's Angela French from Really Good Stuff coming to you on Facebook Live tonight again to show you some great products, have a little talk with you. Tonight we're going to talk games. I hope that you are taking time during this time when we're all together to take some, I'm going to say time again, to play some games with your families. Like I said, it's great for making connections and especially for helping with skills. So today I'm going to show you these, but I need help. So again, I'm going to have my daughter, Elizabeth or Liz, come help me so we can demonstrate how to play some of these games. So hopefully you can get some of these questions right. <laughs> we have a varying range of skills. <laughs> we have math games, ELA games, social studies games, tons of different games online. Now, the main thing you need to look for when you look at our games, if you click the link above, is that our games truly say game in the title. If it says activity, that's something that one or two kids can do together or independently. So look for that keyword of games. So let's start with something hard. Okay, we're going to start with tricky sticks. Now we have several versions of tricky sticks. These are the three intermediate versions. We have division, rounding through this thousands place, and multiplication. The instructions for this particular game are on the back of the box. So, Elizabeth, I challenge you to a game of tricky sticks. We'll play one or two okay. rounds and see how we do. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll let you go first. Yeah. Draw one stick. What's your problem? <laughs> What's your problem? <laughs> go ahead. Zero times five. Zero times five is? Zero. Excellent. So she gets to keep that stick. I'll go next. She was thrilled. 11 times 7 is 77. So I get to keep my stick. Hmm. Go again. Right, let's see how you do. Mine was 8 times 10, 80. <laughs> get the easy ones. Let's see. No. 6 Good times looking. 9. Hmm. I know 6 times 10 is 60, minus 6 is 54. Do you believe me? <laughs> If there's a yeah. question in your family, the best thing about these is on the very back of the sticks, it says tricky stick repeated, and then it will have the answer. So let's see. Yep, 54. Did I say 54? I said 64, right? I tricked you. Maybe. Who knows? But we've got the stick. 54. Did I say 54? Yeah. Excellent. I'm good. <laughs> so if I had gotten this one wrong, I would put it back. Now let me find, the reason it's called tricky sticks is there are certain sticks in here like this that say tricky stick. So this one would say return three of your sticks to the box. Does that mean I owe two or owe one, I guess? No, you just case? put in whatever you have. But yeah, you can see how this would be a little heart crushing that you'd have to return three. It works so other... hard for those two sticks. <laughs> but the other thing we did um, on the back is did you know? The answer to a multiplication problem is called the product. So they can learn some vocabulary and other things while playing the game. Excellent, right? We need to play that one again later. Ooh, all right. We have to time it too. That'd be good too. The other thing you can do with this is if you have kids that are really sensitive, you can take out the tricky sticks and just have whoever ends with the most sticks wins or set a timer and see how fast they can go and who has the most at the end of little bit of time. Sounds cool, right? Several of those online. Let's try this one. This one is definitely not a first grade one. This is rock, paper, scissors. This one is addition and subtraction through a thousand. I got this. You I don't know to, about you. <laughs> you have to use some mental math here. But the other thing is look at the back. If you have a rock chip, a paper chip, or a scissor chip, the answers are right here. So if we don't agree, we can always look at this card. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Again, I think we have like seven or eight versions of this game. So you get to go first last time. So I'm going to go first this time. I got 245 minus 200, which would be 45. So I'm going to hold my chip for a second. Now you draw a chip. Okay. Uh, Let's see what she gets. And I got 517 plus 250, 
So that's 767. That was good. That was good. Okay, so we both got it right. So who gets the chip? Do you know? That's why it's called rock, paper, scissors. So I got paper. She got scissors. You know what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scissor cuts paper. So she gets that chip. So what happens when, like, let's pretend we both got, let's see, let's find one. Let's say we both got it right and we both got rocks. We would each keep our own. But I was at a math conference and a teacher who had this said what she actually did is if the kids tied, she would have them do actual rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that's to see a good who gets one. to keep it. So always fun, always ways you can adapt. There's a hundred chips in here. So you can, you know, put down 25, however you want to do it. The best thing about the tricky sticks and the rock, paper, scissors is you can play with several people. So that's good. All right. Now let's go simple. Okay, like, for the young kids out there. <laughs> All right, this game is called Cookie Jar Numbers Math Game. And here's your instructions. You've got a nice little instruction card. Let's see. All right, cookie jar cards, double-sided. So you have four cards, eight different sides, so there's lots of time to play. Hmm, do I want a purple lid or a purple background? I'll take the purple lid. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to choose the yellow lid. Excellent. Okay, so what we do is we draw a cookie chip out of here. Look how cute these are. Our artist Caroline did these. They're so adorable. So on the back of mine, I have four ice cream cones. So I'm going to put it on my four. Ten butterflies. Put it on my ten. Excellent. All right, let's go again. I got, oh, look at how cute that little face is. I got four flowers. Six stars. Yeah. But I don't have a four on my mat. Well, I do, but I already covered it. So guess what? I have to put it back. Oh. So the person... I would have won all these if we went through them all. <laughs> if you went through all of them. Yeah. So the good thing, too, is... Um, oh, look, a cat chip. We know we like cats oh. in this house. Um, so it's subitizing. So there's dice in there. What? There's tally marks. There's even free choice. So that's like getting a wild card. So if... There's a number you just can't find. That's the one to use. Your free space. Free and space. And then this one is addition and subtraction through 20 gumball facts. So you get a gumball machine, much like the cookie jar. And then you flip it over, and there's your problem. And if you have the answer on your mat, you cover it up. So we have several of these. We have a brand new one that came out um, that you would have appreciated when you were little. It is letter reversal. So. It has N's and U's and B's and D's, some of those letters that, um, you know, the kids get confused about. So this last one I'm going to show you for tonight, though we have several dozen on our website, is whack a sight word. So these are our foam whackers that are very um, safe. You know, some people say, what if my kids hit each other with them? They are safe. And if your kids hit each other with them, you just don't let them play with it anymore. Correct? No. No. Okay, so we have several versions of this. We have math versions, ELA versions, but this is one of my favorites. Whack a sight word game. Here's the instructions. This is great for reluctant readers. So the way you play this one is you usually have three players, but we're just going to do it with the two of us. So we put out some sight word cards. There's 100 in here. It's 100 most basic sight words, and usually the third person's the caller. So the caller has to be able to read all the words, which is awesome. And then the two of us would have to be able to whack the word when they say the sight word. So I'm gonna say the sight word and let's see how fast Elizabeth can find it. Hmm. One, two, three, look. Bam. Ah, she yeah. got it. So if she's the first one to hit it, she gets to keep that card. So again, lots of fun, lots of games you can play as a family. When kids see you playing together as a family, it gives you lots of things. It gives you that unity, it makes memories, and you can also practice some important skills. What was your favorite, you think, Elizabeth? I don't know, I think rock, <laughs> paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors has been very popular. It's a fun game and it comes in this plastic pouch, so it's easy to take on the road. You know, I know a lot of us are stuck in our houses, so 
I know a lot of people are like, let's just go drive for a half an hour. So this is great for the kids to play in the car. Great skills for you all to uh, practice and have fun as a family. So this is week six of working from home, isolation. Everybody keep your chins up and we will talk to you real soon. Bye. Woo.